Now, there are about 344 dog breeds recognized by the FCI, the world governing body of dog breeds, sometimes known as the World Canine Organization. Some dog breeds are originated from natural selection, and some are intentionally created by the people. In this video, we've listed the 10 last created dog breeds. Let's start with the number 10, Silken Windhound. The history of the Silken Windhound is not a long one, as it's a relatively new dog breed. Most attribute the breeding of the first Silken Windhound litter to Francie Stowe of Crystal Kennel, a Borzoi breeder who wanted to create a mid-sized sighthound with a long, silky coat that'd be easy to groom and maintain. Stoll crossed Borzois with whippets until the first litter of silken windhounds were born in 1985 in the United States. Though the new breed wouldn't be officially named silken windhound until 1998. Number 9. Shiloh Shepherd The Shiloh Shepherd was developed by a breeder named Tina Barber during the late 1960s to early 1970s in New York, USA. She wanted to create a breed like the German Shepherd, but bigger, gentler, and calmer. To create the Shiloh, Barber used large dogs such as the German Shepherd and Alaskan Malamute as foundation stock. The Malamute added its sociable nature and adaptability to the mix, while the German Shepherd added his intelligence to the resulting crossbreed. Number 8. Puggle The Puggle is the result of an accidental crossbreeding between a Pug and a Beagle, probably sometime in the 1990s. The breed has become very popular thanks to his novelty, sweet nature, and cute looks. There are no breed clubs for the Puggle and no efforts to make him a recognized breed. Most litters are the result of first-generation breedings between Beagles and Pups. The Puggle is a sweet, intelligent dog who can fit easily into family life. Number 7. Miniature American Shepherd in the 1960s, small-size Australian Shepherds found working the U.S. rodeo circuit were selectively bred to further reduce their size. The new breed was originally called the Miniature American Shepherd. They became especially popular with equestrians traveling to horse shows as their intelligence, loyalty, and size made them an excellent travel companion. In this way, their popularity spread across the country. Number 6. Louisiana Catahoula Leopard Dog Named for a Choctaw Indian word meaning sacred lake, the Catahoula originated in northern Louisiana near Catahoula Lake. He's probably the product of breedings between local dogs and the bloodhounds, mastiffs, and greyhounds brought to the area by Spanish explorers. The Catahoula was used to track and round up the wild hogs that roamed the forest, hence the name hog dog that he sometimes goes by. The breed was named State Dog of Louisiana in 1979. Number 5. Labradoodle The Labradoodle was originally developed in Australia to be a hypoallergenic guide dog. In 1989, Wally Conron, who oversaw the breeding program for the Royal Guide Dogs Association of Australia, conducted the first purposeful crossbreeding between a standard poodle and Labrador Retriever. This first cross of Conron's produced a dog called Sultan, who not only had the hypoallergenic coat, but also had the aptitude, intelligence, and personality to be an effective guide dog. Sultan went on to work with a woman in Hawaii and was successful at his work. At that point, other breeders saw the merit of crossing these two breeds. Number four, Chinook. The Chinook is one of only a few American dog breeds and New Hampshire's official state dog. The breed was developed in New Hampshire by explorer and author Arthur T. Walden. After returning from the Gold Rush days in Alaska, he set out to create a breed of sled dog with tremendous power, endurance, and speed. He bred a Mastiff type dog to a Northern Husky. Chinook was large, intelligent, and an excellent lead dog for Walden and his team of sled dogs. Number three, American Bulldog. An older version of the Bulldog originated in England and was used as a work dog catching cattle and guarding property until it became the breed of choice in a brutal sport known as bull baiting. By the end of World War II, the breed was almost extinct. However, a few devote breeders decided to revive the American Bulldog. John D. Johnson, a returning war veteran, and Alan Scott began carefully breeding American Bulldogs after the war. Two different lines of Bulldogs appeared during this growth period. 
However, most of today's American Bulldogs are a cross between the two. Number 2. Alaskan Klikai The words Klikai come from an Inuit term meaning small dog, which is appropriate for this breed that is a smaller version of its husky ancestors. This breed is a recent one, developed in the early 1970s by Linda Sperlin in Wasilla, Alaska. She discovered an undersized Alaskan Husky and fell in love with it, deciding it would be the ideal companion. Starting with this dog, Sperlin bred Alaskan Huskies and Siberian Huskies to create the Klikai, perhaps adding a Skipper Key and American Eskimo to obtain a smaller size. The Alaskan Klikai is a rare breed with only 700 dogs. Number 1. American Bully The American Bully breed was established in the mid-1990s with the purpose of creating the ultimate family companion. The American Bully was created through years of selective breeding by combining the desired traits of the American Pit Bull Terrier and the American Staffordshire Terrier. The American Bully's origins can be seen both on the east and west coast of the United States primarily in Virginia and Los Angeles, California, and is spreading to all parts of the U.S. So, these were the 10 last created dog breeds. What's your opinion about these new dog breeds? And should we also create other breeds, or are these enough? Let us know in the comments. Finally, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.